If you need a little leg up at work, authority may be the ticket. If you don't have that stylistic authority in your presence, in your voice, in your body language, you're not going to have the influence in the room that you want to have. So to learn how to gain some authority in the workplace, we turn to the president of the Montag Group and author of Don't Take Yes for an Answer, Steve Herz. First up, pay attention to your voice. Your voice is so important. It's the second biggest impression you make on people other than your face. Make sure you're not speaking in an artificially high-pitched voice. Avoid filler words like like or so you know. Make sure you don't speak in a sing-song manner. And practice. You can do it with your parents, you can do it with your friends, you can do it with anybody, but you don't have to be doing it in the moment in the meeting. Next up, cultivate confidence with your presence. The presence is just knowing you belong. We all have insecurities, we all have fears, but it doesn't take a lot to just act like you've been there before. And one way to do that is act confident and limit the amount you talk. Just speak in short, quick sentences, do more listening in those moments, and you'd be shocked. If you don't tip off the other person that you don't think you belong there, they're never gonna pick up on it. Moving along with use confident body language. It's eye contact both in listening and speaking. Also, if you're energetic, to use your hands. I mean, don't just sit there if you want to connote energy, right? The other thing is posture, having your shoulders back, your chin up, having a presence about your body. There's a physicality to it. And if you're listening to someone, try nodding along, cause... It shows you're acknowledging another person speaking. Finally, practice detachment. If you really know something and you know you know it, and you believe you have something to offer somebody else in that moment, you're not married to the idea of them buying it because you have to have some detachment about it to know, hey, listen, I think this is powerful. I think this could help you. But if you don't want it, that's fine. And having that detachment, I think, gives you a real sense of power and also clarity about who you are. Now we can get the acknowledgement we deserve by showing authority in the workplace.